Need a loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My freshly shucked loon. <laughs> yes, I am freshly shucked. Shucked you all right the time. out of that shell, and here he is. Oh, what a his... stretch. It was a stretch. <laughs> it's always a stretch. But anyway, so we are, guess what we're making today? We're doing something that has to be shucked. I don't know. What? What could it be? Let's, <laughs> Let's tell, tell them. them. We're doing our oyster <laughs> casserole. Now, some of you, I'm going to turn this down. Some of you may be th saying, I love oyster casserole. Yeah. It's Christmas time. It's the holidays. It's a southern favorite. Some of you may be saying, oyster casserole? What in the world is, what does that have to do with the holidays? Well, <laughs> let me just give you just a really quick, well, it is a very popular dish in the southern states, in the coastal southern states of the United States, where oysters are very prominent. So yes. it makes sense. And it's, it's a casserole and it's super delicious. Right. As a kid, my grandmother, who all the grandkids called Munga, I'm not sure why. Oh, well, it's because no one, one of the kids couldn't say grandma, so it said Munga. But anyway, she made oyster casserole. Now, the, the, and now of course, as a kid this big, I was like, I don't want any of that. And so, but my, the older kids, like my sister and my cousin who were older, they all loved it. But the <laughs> weird thing is, this was in smack dab in the middle of Missouri. Yes. So I was asking my mom the other day, I said, how was it that grandma, came about oyster casserole and you know in the middle of Missouri in the middle of Missouri yeah. and and I my mom was like you know what I'm going to try and find that out so anyway this is to you grandma thank you so <laughs> oh, much you, you're leaving us hanging what we we need to find out where where grandma no got I don't the know she, we don't know she's going to do some digging <laughs> ask some cousins that's right you're leaving us hanging I am hang, I'm I'm, I'm going to do it I'm just going to leave you hanging but I will come back with an answer eventually I oh, promise that's funny. okay but the point right. is that it's super delicious and it's and it's, and it's, and it's uh, a southern delight it's a southern especially delight especially during the holidays and I don't know why but it's just really popular during the holidays yeah. okay we've talked our ear our everyone's right. ears off should we so, talk about the oysters themselves let's talk let's go ahead and talk about oysters look at those bet don't mix them up with the mushrooms not yet, um, right? So oysters. No, don't mix them up. Like well, we're oh. going. To, oh yeah. Oh, let me. Eat one. <laughs> okay. So oysters are obviously delicious, and we love having them. You know, when they're on the half shell, they're right. so great. When yep. you just yep. you shuck them and and you do all that, mm -hmm. and that is going to be fantastic. Right. Um, so what you but you we've don't got have to do that. So we've already we've pre shruck them. We've pre <laughs> Shuck them. Shuck them. You can find them in the seafood <laughs> section of many really well-stocked uh, supermarkets. They're, they come in containers. A lot of times they're canned. Sometimes they can be a little tricky to find, so you have right. to kind of seek them out. Um, but they're so worth it. Yeah, once don't you get, get the them. boiled ones that are in, in the can. Make sure that they're yeah. these are, are raw oysters. Yeah, and, yeah. They, and, and you can also get them uh, smoked, which I've never cooked with. But anyway, see if you can find these. They're, yeah. they're, they're pretty easy to find. Yep. Um, and then we've got, so that, that's that. So, oh, then so what you, you need just, to do yeah. is you, you want, there's a lot of liquid in there, uh, so you want to drain, drain them. them. So just put them over your sink and just dump them out, and, and then you can rinse them off with some water, give them a good shake, and, and then just transfer yeah. them to a bowl like there that. There we go. That's 16, that's actually two pounds of shucked oysters. Right, right. So that's right. Um, really, really good. And we have a siren that is about to go by our house, which means our dog is <laughs> about to start to, howling. He's going to start howling because <laughs> he knows we're cooking with oysters. He gets really excited. <laughs> so anyway, um, so I've talked right. about that. We've yes. got our mushrooms. Let's so talk now about let's, your mirepoix. Let's here. talk about this. So this is a very, um, this is a mirepoix that is commonly used in Cajun cooking. Yes. Hence southern United States, coastal cities like New Orleans. Right. So we love, and this is the, what this is right here. I've already got this going. This is a large. <laughs> it's okay, Abby. It's okay. Sweet thing. So we've got, no oysters. See, if you want, if you were wondering if this is like really in our house or not, <laughs> it's, it's in really our in our house. house. And we've always said, when is the day going to come when uh, our little Ab is going to howl? And yeah. now he's at it. So now you know he's real. So okay. So, All right. Back to your so back mirepoix. to my, my mirepoix. Um, the I, Cajun mirepoix. The mirepoix. So will will we start off with a couple of tablespoons of unsalted butter that mm -hmm. I melt in this large skillet? And then I add the Cajun mirepoix. Regular mirepoix is onion, celery, and carrot. carrots. This is onion, onion celery, green, and, and green, green pepper. pepper. Yes. Bell green pepper. You switch out the green, the the carrot with the green pepper. Yes, yeah, so I got to keep an eye on this. So yes. anyway, and then um, we're just going to let that cook until it gets nice and soft, and that's about right. four to five minutes. And then you're going to add your jalapeno. And then we're going to no, there's no jalapeno. Oh. In this. We're going to add. 
Boy, my, everyone's putting me to the test today. So we're going to add some um, chai, uh, chai, chai, well, some scallions. Yeah, you sorry, I got this mixed up. Well, they're green, yes. so. Um, <laughs> and then we're going to also add some garlic. And just let those go for about another minute just till they get nice and fragrant. Yes. So now these are nice and soft. So now what we're going to do yes. is we are, now we are going to mix these up. I'm right. just going to go ahead and dump these mushrooms in. Okay. This is eight ounces of just sliced good old white and then here comes button mushrooms. Is that... How many ounces? This is two pounds, two so pounds. it's 24 ounces. So wow. it's an oyster casserole, so you know, you're gonna wanna have plenty that. of oysters, but they do cook down, and I'm telling you, it's absolutely phenomenal. When you see the way we put this together with this cream oh. sauce, top it with some breadcrumbs, it's topping. Amazing. And so now this is really, go between the oysters and the mushrooms, these are really going to exude a lot of liquid. And uh, when you come back, you're going to see that we will have drained that, and then we will carry on. Yes. Hopefully <laughs> siren free. <laughs> oh, this Yay. is so exciting. I feel like we're down in New Orleans or something. <laughs> Get ready for a big old Christmas celebration. I love celebrate. it. Love so, it. okay, so let me tell you how we got to this point. Yes. Um, these, oh, they smell so good. Mm. So we just, like we said, we put the oysters in there that had already been drained, and then we put the, the mushrooms. sliced mushrooms in there. Yep. Now, those, both of those are going to let go of a lot of liquid, especially those oysters they hold a lot of liquid so or let those go for about like 15 minutes yeah, and you'll see all that liquid come, I mean you'll yeah. see it really is swimming if you don't drain it well anyway you want to cook that and what's gonna happen it's gonna make those mushrooms nice and soft and, and yep. tender so then you what we do is we just get a colander uh, place it over a bowl and um, just carefully transfer Drain. that uh, liquid and all of that that's in the skillet into that colander and that liquid just drains yeah. away drains it right away. and then you just stick it back in here because now we are going to really <laughs> bring it all together look at this bashmel bashmel so mm, we've got bashmel. this is kind of like a, i can't even say sometimes i say bashmel or bashmel yeah, it's never correct <laughs> but anyway um so this is kind of like a southern kind of, it's very, very delicious. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a cream sauce. So let me tell you mm -hmm. what we did. We got a couple of tablespoons of unsalted butter, put them in the saucepan over medium heat, and then just stir that till it melts. Then you're gonna wanna do a couple of, I always do heaping tablespoons. I, want a, I always want a little more flour to my butter when I'm making a roux. roux. <laughs> so, um, and then you stir that in. What it really, it should resemble, well, I always say this, wet sand. Yes. And you just wanna need to cook that for about a minute. You're making this roux, it's a light blonde roux. The primary reason here for cooking it is just to get that raw flour taste out. Right, right. And then we're going to add a cup of half and half. You can use all heavy cream, you can use all milk. I use a little bit of the combination. I like the combination of the two, so I use half and half. That's a cup. And then I used a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and then a tablespoon of your favorite hot sauce. Those three things come together to make the most primo delicious uh, sauce ever. And then we did three quarters of a teaspoon of kosher salt and a half a teaspoon of freshly ground black mm -hmm. pepper. You stir that and then that roux is gonna start doing that thing that she does so well, <laughs> which it up. makes everyone <laughs> thick as thieves. And so, and that only takes just, it can take anywhere from a couple minutes to maybe five minutes. Usually you threw just hot sauce minute. in there too, right? I did. Yes. I told them about okay. that. Okay, so now it's it's ready it to go. Looks great. Right. It does. Here, it's got that. You're beautiful, gonna take that. We're just gonna. All we're gonna do is we're just gonna stir it. We don't have to cook it anymore. We're just gonna stir it all in. Doesn't that look? I don't understand why this isn't more widely. Um, you could. Could you actually cook it in that in that um, skillet too? Put the whole casserole in there. Well, if you were, if this was an oven, are you saying if you, if I put the skillet into the yes. oven? Yeah. yeah, you could do that. You certainly you could do this into like a um, cast iron skillet. That would be pretty. And um, all right, so while I'm mixing this up, yes. tell us about what we got. So there. we've got uh, breadcrumbs. Uh, these we took some a French baguette, and we sliced off some of the the crust. Uh, and then we just kind of got the innards of all that bread and put it into the food processor and got it nice and finely chopped. Um, and that's it basically for the breadcrumbs. But now we're gonna add some butter to it. So you don't have to be super careful about getting every layer of the crust off because especially if it's a small baguette, you know, that's mostly crust anyway. So, um, but anyway, that you're gonna, you're really gonna, we've got a little more than we need there, but you're gonna need at least a cup of fr and freshly ground and then just do a little bit of salt. Thank you. Just a little bit there. Mm -hmm. And then, that's going to go as a topping. Ooh, yes, a onto, topper onto the casserole. Yeah, here, so let me get this over here. So now, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. Oh, we're doing that over there? Yeah, we're doing that over here. We're doing it over there? <laughs> yes. Okay. 
All right, well, you move things around on me. All right. I'm <laughs> sorry. You always make me do and I'm, I'm left-handed, so I have to do it with my right hand. That's all right. It gives you practice. I'm not terribly... Oh, that's a great consistency. I it like really that. It really is. Yeah. It's just... And, you know, this can be... this Up to this point can be done in advance mm -hmm. if you want to help me out here. Okay, yeah. now let's just spin that around mm -hmm. until it goes round, round, round. <laughs> Smooth it around. <laughs> Remember that... Wasn't that an 80s Dead or Alive song? You <laughs> you spin, spin, yes, it okay, is. We're really dating ourselves. Yes. Okay, that's gorgeous. That I love it. Okay, great. so meanwhile, we've got our oven preheated to 400 degrees. It, this does not take long. It's everything that's cooked. So mm. now what we're doing is we're just going to make it nice and bubbly and gorgeous. Yes. Um, oh. I love it. So the Southerners, they eat oyster casserole, but uh, up north in the, in the Midwest, we're a bunch of Norwegians, so we have... Oyster stew. Have you told everyone? Does everyone know that you're Norwegian? Oh, I'm sure I've mentioned it several oh, times. That's true. <laughs> but yeah, we would have oyster stew during. Uh, I think it was New Year's. Or no, sorry, Christmas Eve. And uh, it's pretty simple. It's basically water. It's probably milk, uh, butter, and oysters. And oysters. <laughs> it's another one of those things. You're in South Dakota and you're having oysters. Odd. <laughs> Okay, exactly. so now we're going to just put this in the oven. All Like I said, all we need to do is just heat it till it's nice and bubbly. That's about 15 minutes. And then I love for these breadcrumbs to get nice and charred. Oh, we're yes. going to stick it under the broiler, but for a very short bit, just till it gets nice and brown. Yay! Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, we're ready. I'm so yes. excited. Yes! This is such... Oh, and the smell Oh, is that's so gorgeous. Good. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that, folks. <gasps> Isn't that Unbelievable. Beautiful? Another one you set at the table, people are gonna be like, oh, that, my look God. at that. Okay, so let's let's let <laughs> yeah, let it cool for a second before I put yeah, it in my it's, mouth. It's bubbling. <laughs> um, so what we did, let me go back and tell you. Um, all we did was we put it in the oven at 400, 400 degrees just for 15 minutes. You just wanted to get it nice and bubbly like this. Mm -hmm. And then what I did was I took it out of the oven, I put it on the top rack, and then I put it on the broiler for high. But you've got to watch it, remember? Watch it, watch it, watch it. That watch was it. like maybe a two minutes? Two minutes tops. Yeah. And then and once it gets brown like this, it's, you have like seconds before it right. becomes, <laughs> two, so you really got to stay close. And if you have a light and you can see through your glass, yeah. that's the way you want to do it. And then, as you can see, you take it out and it's just, it's ready that to serve. That looks absolutely wonderful. It's beautiful. That looks table ready. It is Holiday table, table ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Loon, I'm going gonna, gonna to dish you up some. Yes, oh, and it's just please. a beautiful consistency. Oh, that is great. It's Perfect. just. It really is that just the so great perfect. quintessential. Why don't you ever put it on the middle of my plate? Because I like to hear you complain. <laughs> <laughs> what does that have to do with? Oh, because well, because I'm used to making a plate that's going to be full of food. It has some meat next to it. Yeah, something like turkey or ham. Oh, y'all, look at how gorgeous that is. Oh, the smell. That next to some ham yeah. or a beef prime rib. That would be mm. real good. I'm gonna. I like to put a little more hot sauce on. <laughs> Sorry. I'm it's, a hot sauce. It's a southern thing. I know. He likes to get saucy with it. <laughs> Even though I wasn't born a southerner. Well, you were. <gasps> you're an that. honorary, that's for sure. Oh, yes. Look at the oysters. I know. Mm. Even your non-oyster lovers, it may we'll be a stretch this. to say that, but I think mm -hmm. if you don't tell them, they're going to try it and be like, oh, my gosh. Just tell them that they're mushrooms. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it smells so good. We're getting the loon dance. Wow. Wow. That's, it's kind of crazy. That is, <laughs> that is kind of crazy. It's great. It's another one it's of those really things great. when I told Wesley I'm making an oyster casserole. He, I, you know, you've made it a few years now. No, um, I've been working on it. Yeah, I've been working the first on time it. I was like, really? I like my oyster stew, but I don't know if I like it in a casserole. <laughs> but I like it in a casserole. That Do is you? so good. Mm. And well, I like my hot sauce on there, yeah. but you can taste the wonderfulness of, of like the, the onions and the celery and, there's and the, 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 the bell pepper in there. Yep, yep. So good. And there's good. the brightness of the lemon yes. and then the Worcestershire, I know. Yes, and then and the, the crunchiness the crunchy of these. Top, I yes, I love, I love these oysters. Isn't that great for like a holiday table? Mm, 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 I'm mm, salivating. Mm, mm, mm. That 
is 100% Luna proof. Yes! You know, I'm so going to follow good. your lead and do a little. I normally don't do it, but. I the, love. you got to throw some hot sauce on you, there. You, I mean, it's so delicious as it is. I like is. hot sauce on my uh, my raw oysters as well. I know. When you're just, just freshly Oysters shot. on the half shell. So mm. good. Isn't that great? I mean, uh, mm. I love it. That's really fantastic. Yeah. No wonder my cousins, hi Cindy and Aaron and all of you, go, you were smart, you knew. And Munga, Grandma, oh, I hope we're, we do you proud. Mm, wow, mm. you can get this recipe. Sorry, I'm just eating it. I know. It's on howtofeedaloon.com. Oh, mm. you guys. Mm, mm, mm. So go to our social media, like us, share, um, do all of that fun stuff. You are gonna be amazed if you've never totally. had oyster casserole. I mean. It's great. It's excellent. It really is. It really is. is wonderful. Have we sold you? Because. <laughs> We really I don't think we need to sell it. That I know. Much. I mean, it's it's just. I'm gonna take another bite. Mm. Oh, oh god. Oh, did you tell them to share, to like us, and share, and comment, and and be, be safe. safe. We right. love you. Happy holidays. We're almost through this. I can feel it. I oh can my feel gosh. it. I can feel it. All right. Bye, y'all. I can feel it in my bones, in my oysters. <laughs> Everybody. Hi guys, now if you want to be a part of the Loon Fun, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you won't miss a single recipe. That's right. Oh, and speaking of recipes, if you want another amazing recipe like yeah. this, then just click right here. Yeah, click. Click. Subscribe. It's so much fun. <laughs>